Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When you allow the Holy Spirit to influence your life, please listen. He will make you a sign and a wonder. Never forget this. The meeting has begun. If you can allow the Spirit of God to take over your life, listen, the Holy Spirit does not want a part of your life. The Holy Spirit does not just want your heart. Hallelujah. I did an illustration in just, and, and I'm going to do it again. Keep playing, please don't stop. Let me have four people, just four gentlemen. And let me show you how our relationship with the Spirit is. Many of us, come on now, any four people. Just stand, just stand this way. I want to show you tonight the secret of experiencing the presence of God and true spiritual power. I don't plan to teach for long and then we'll minister so that we can end very fast. If I have to teach tonight, we'll take the whole night. Watch this. Listen. When God created man, right? God created man such that, please never forget this illustration. If you are interested in walking in the spirit and walking in true power, ever increasing dimensions of God's power, you must understand what I'm sharing with you tonight. Hallelujah. This is the image of God. This, this is a representation of priority towards the things of God. Hold it, sir. Just hold it this way. Now listen. This is man. And all the things that look like priorities to him. Are you getting my point? Every time you stand before principalities and powers. And you say in the name of Jesus I rebuke you. They will first check if they see that there is this priority and this passion. Hallelujah. Because it so happens that the, your hunger for God. And your desire, your priority for him. Are you getting my point now? It's proportional to the dimension of his presence that you will see in your life. There are lots of people that can dress well. Just like some of you are sitting looking wonderful. And then you turn and tell demons, the Lord rebuke you. Go away, I cast that spirit. Or be healed. And these spirits look and they cannot see the priority of God in you. They see all kinds of, I'm sorry, all kinds of pretense. God is somewhere down the line among your activities. Are you getting my point? Maybe this one is your desire to be successful. Maybe this one is your desire to make money. This one is your desire to get married. And then God is somewhere down the line. Yet, you want to experience his power and his glory let me tell you, you can sing and say everything you want to say. Lord, you mean the world, you mean this and that. But until God 
becomes a priority the moment god keeps stepping up i tell you you will become a dangerous wonder because his presence will not only mantle you something will begin to happen to you that will rattle the gates of hell everywhere you go the problem is many people love god but they are not passionate about god they are born again but god is not a priority are you getting my point now how many of you know that i can love this lady right but she's not my wife is that true so i love her but that passion enough to say i want to spend my life with you that's how many people are to so they say lord i love you but when you stand side by side with other things i am not sure those those things can go for you and god says yet you want my glory Yet you want to see my manifest presence. There are many of us, it's money. Money is your first priority. Others, is your quest for success. Other people, is whatever kind of issue. Listen, when you come to a powerful meeting like this, the primary assignment of the Holy Spirit is not just to heal you. Are you getting me? As you begin to worship God, something happens in your spirit. Have you heard that song? Be magnified, oh Lord. This is what happens. So, in the heat of that worship, as your outer man is dying, there is a shifting in the spirit. Are you seeing that? God becomes a greater priority to you. So, suddenly you leave that meeting with a greater passion. But as great as that passion is, it's still not enough. You begin to have encounters, dreams, visions. You begin to see the workings of the spirit in your life. But God looks and says, I'm still not seeing myself. Are you getting my point now? So every time Satan comes, this is what Jesus meant by Satan comes to me and did not find anything. That means before Satan attacks, he will check what in you belongs to me. That becomes his point of attachment to your life. Are you getting my point now? Then you come for another powerful meeting. And while you're singing and hearing the word and worshiping, you come to a point where you say, Kai, this is my hunger for marriage. Although it's an important thing, but you have my everything. You have my everything. Take all of me, all of me, Lord. You have my everything. So you see that there is a transition. Hallelujah. At this point, you begin to see little signs and wonders here and there. God begins to trust you with certain levels of grace. But God still checks and says, I want to do more with you. You may even be ministry at this level. You may be healing the sick at this level. They may be calling you MOG, apostle prophet pastor you may be building churches and cathedrals but god will say if you know what i could do with you if you know what i could do with you you have one thousand five thousand members if you know what i could do i can give you an international anointing that can rattle territories what is this one thing that you are keeping from me what and, and you say lord bless me god says i don't have a problem blessing you can i trust you you say yes god says where is the proof of the trust i'm still not seeing myself in your life And the more you climb, the harder it gets. Because the things that are closer to your heart are the idols. And then finally, after seasons of dealings with the spirit, I will lay down my idols and thrones I have made and all that has taken my heart lord i will bow lord i will bow to you to no other god but you lord mm. and lord i will worship you nothing hands at me but you, Lord. Listen, 
when you get to this point you will see dimensions of grace that will scare you are you hearing what i'm saying this is what it means seek first his kingdom every time god sees you he knows that you want to be rich he knows that you want to finish your education he knows that you want to get married but you have said lord as great as these things are i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of my and you say lord compared to marriage or compared to your presence let money go compared to your presence let marriage go compared to everything at that point he has become king of kings and lord of lords hallelujah and that is the realm where before you call he will answer god will trust you with levels of wealth that you never dreamt imaginable god will trust you with dimensions of anointing and power and grace and men will say from whence cometh this what we have never seen it in this fashion but there are many of us we want god to be somewhere in our lives please take seriously what i'm sharing tonight you can go back there sir many of us god is number 70 something not even number four 70 something there are so many things bless my mother bless my father heal me from the cancer do everything are they wrong no but every time god looks at you he wants to see the priority hallelujah listen there are many ministries i was sharing with someone yesterday and the person looked at me and i said today there will be so many people coming from everywhere trusting and expecting that god is going to bless them hallelujah the person saw how that people were ringing my phones doing a lot of things i was praying i was spending time in god's presence and i looked i said listen there is a reason and i learned that from god's servant johnson suleiman hallelujah i've shared the story with you people when you get distracted are you getting my point and get carried away by ministry and all of these things the protocol people standing well the great man of god joshua selman coming to do his things those things are deceitful are you hearing what i'm saying they are deceitful that's why some people will never enter certain levels of grace enjoy the honor but never let it get inside you create a space that nothing can take belongs to god God knows that I love him with all my heart. Let ministry go. Let anointing go. Let grace to heal the sick go. It's not my ministry. It's God's ministry. If I die today, you will cry for one week and say what happened. After that, that's the end of it. The journey continues. When you recognize this, something will happen to you. You will no longer be carried away even the anointing listen the anointing of the holy ghost in your life can become an idol are you hearing what i'm saying the anointing has a compelling effect when you are healing the sick casting devils out and doing all of the great things it's easy to forget that you are under authority and there is one greater than you there are people tonight you are not sick but what you need is fresh fire because you started well please don't stop playing you started well but as you were going and god trusted you with little levels of grace and anointing you didn't even know when you left god and started doing ministry tonight you need restoration as a matter of urgency some of us, God trusted us with influence. God trusted us with power. Have you heard people tell you, I remember those days. 
You can't walk to me sick and go back. No. What has happened? Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. Don't let my love grow cold. I'm crying out. Light the fire again. I need your discipline. I'm crying out. Light the fire. There are some of us here, not only is God not a priority, he's not even in the equation of our life. You have never considered it a factor. Are you getting my point now? Many people run to God like an emergency unit in the hospital. Oh God, the harbor list has failed. Since you are the only one left, you better do something. And you harass every man of God around you as if you paid him to make sure you get healed. But when we get blessed, we run away. Listen, I'm saying this again and again. It's not a difficult thing for God to invade our lives. But the question is, can God trust you? Lord, I want spiritual power. Fine. It's available. Can God trust you? Lord, I want prosperity. I want to be a millionaire. Fine. Can God trust you? Lord, I want to get married. Can God trust you? You're not even disciplined as you are. You can't see any lady and go and sit down quietly. You can't see any guy and sit down quietly. Lord, I want marriage. What kind of kids do you want to raise? And God says, it's not a big deal. Can I trust you? Lord, I want a great ministry. Someone was sending me a, a, a text message. And he said, great man of God of our time. Exclamation mark. Then he said a number of other nice things. And at the end of it, you know, he said, oh, this and that and that. And I looked, I said, ah, yeah. He said, I wish to be like you. And I sent him a text. I said, all things are available in the spirit. Can God trust you? This is the question God is asking some of us tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Is it really hard for God to heal you? Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. That's what God is asking you tonight. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. But God is saying, you must get to a point where you love me beyond anointing. Listen, I ring this every time. This is the law of exchange I taught us two weeks ago you don't get nothing for nothing that junk does not exist in the kingdom there is always something your heart your life hallelujah because there are so many of us when we see the wonderful things that God is doing in this ministry and we honor God you cannot imagine how deeply grateful I am let me tell you something. As a leader, I account for only very little of the success of this ministry. Very little. I'm not embarrassed by it. There is one mightier than I am. He's the real owner. What you see happening is just stewardship. It will never confuse me. We never confuse roles with God. I have never tried to take his role. The cross is too heavy to kill me. I know when to stand. And allow him to do the things that he will. 
Tonight, God wants your heart. Everybody say, God wants my heart. Yes. God wants your heart. Brothers and sisters, it is not a difficult thing for God to change your story. Read the Bible and see how God changed people's situation overnight. There are many of us, it was when you got into trouble that you left God. So wrong. That's when you should hold on to him like the woman with the issue of blood. If your challenges make you run away from God, who will you run to? The devil... Hallelujah. It's not enough to watch miracles. There'll be miracles everywhere. There'll be miracles here tonight. There'll be miracles everywhere. Right? Nobody is doubting that. I told you God said there will be mighty visitations. There'll be impartations. And all kinds of visitations. But the trouble is, will you just leave this place happy and excited? Wow, it was great. Did you see the sick person? Did you see the deliverances? Did you see the breakthroughs and the word of knowledge and the manifestation of the gift of the spirit? Did you hear the worship team? Did you see the organization? If that is all you live here with tonight, you have cheated yourself. Because there are many of us who are spectators. We are enjoying the euphoria of organization. But tonight you must lose sight of these things. And say, Lord, I have come for business. If you do not change me, I will not be changed. If you do not heal me, I will not be healed. But Lord, take my heart. That's my message. I've been ringing this for years. The Lord told me something years ago. He said, son... If you can let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. Hallelujah. Lord, have your way in our lives. Let this be a true confession. Please take seriously what I'm saying. Especially for those of us who are in ministry. There's all kinds of frustration in ministry. Because many people want power. They want increase. I told you the best way to be in ministry is to get out of ministry. And focus on his presence. That is when you make the loudest noise and the loudest impact. Koinonia will keep rising from glory to glory for as long as our focus is not on the great things. Don't get me wrong. We take time to celebrate what God is doing. We appreciate the wisdom and the excellence. We appreciate the presence and the leadership of the spirit. But let me tell you above and beyond this. Our hearts. We are dead men. I can tell you this. We have given him everything. If God says this is the last miracle service. This is the last koinonia service. There is nothing left, no more koinonia. I will announce it to you as I've had it. I will join you crying. You will join me crying. We'll hold ourselves and walk out of this place. And I'll go back and say, thank you, Jesus. What do I do next? Do you love God that much? Can you lay down, in quote, the walls that you have spent years building at the request of God? Can you lay it down? You spent years going to school. At the end of it, God said, just keep it. And we'll take another turn. You say, God, no way. You don't cheat me like that. I'm a smart Nigerian. There's a way I can walk. We can patch it up. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you have, you have refused to get married. Because God has told you, that married man you are doing part-time relationship with, break up completely so that God will give you a full-time husband. You are saying, oh Lord, who is going to take care of my needs? You are born again. But he's not a priority in your life. And then you sleep in the night and all kinds of demonic things come. And you cry in the name of Jesus. And the demons even help you to shout. He said, let me help you say it louder. 
and you are like Jesus Christ what is going on the name of Jesus is only powerful when it is in the lips of those who are lovers of God indeed hallelujah koinonia listen to me it is never my ambition please I want you to hear this it is never my ambition to remain in quote a superstar man of God who always comes to sit down here comes Joshua Selman protocol leading him and I come and I sit down wonderful and the worship team sings I told you we, we taught on the ecclesia last week and I told you that the purpose of the church is to be trained and released to enforce the kingdom if all we are doing is becoming great men of God and you are not rising then we are failures even if the wall is clapping for us the goal is that the least person among us will become as great as David there is space for everybody in the world even if all of us become men of God there are enough sinners to occupy everybody there are enough sick people to occupy everybody But the problem is, will God have your heart? Sister, if you can give God your heart, there is nothing he cannot make out of your life. Yes, you graduated with a third class. You know, humanly speaking, that in Nigeria, that third class may not give you a job. You go for an interview, you are embarrassed. You don't even want to show your, your result because you see rows of first class students, genuine first class students, and you are wondering, and Lord, the Lord is saying, can you give it to me? Give me that certificate and see what I will make out of your life. Lord, help me trust you. Help me trust you. What makes us believe that you, you, you are destroyed when you come to God? There is an ugly theology flying around the church. That theology that God makes failures out of people who love him. I tell you, it's not true. The temporary moment of suffering and constraints may be there. Romans chapter 8 verse 18 says, I reckon that the sufferings, there will be constraints. It's not going to be a landslide movement. But if you can wait, you will rise like the eagle and you will astonish men. Lord, we want to see your power and your glory in our lives. And so we seek you. If God does not give you a job, no man can give you. No herbalist can give you. No Godfather can give you. If God does not preserve your life, even if Boko Haram does not bomb you, have you not heard of people who sat down quietly in their house and a truck came and carried everybody? If the Lord has not been our help, now may Israel say, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. I wake. For the Lord sustains me. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Tonight, God is calling on us. Everybody listen to me, inside and outside. Would you make God a priority? Win the war in your hearts this night. And let God become your priority. What is it that has taken his place? I know you are sick in your body but tonight there are women here there are mothers there are people here fathers 
You saw the glory of God in the days of your youth. But the pain of Nigeria has drifted a lot of people away from God. For me to leave God is death. He has become my obsession. Has nothing to do with ministry. You love God. But if that guy should stand side by side with God, you would choose him. Hallelujah. I want you to see the power of God. We are going to soon stand up and we'll have a few minutes of prayer and worship and we'll just let God, I tell you, there will be a mighty visitation in this place tonight. The Lord told me this. There will be a mighty visitation. Hallelujah. But the Lord is calling you. He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you deeper. 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 He's calling you deeper. Deeper. Where is God? MOG. Where is God in your ministry? Somewhere behind. While ministry programs and conferences and conventions have taken his place. Businessman and woman, where is God in the equation of your life? Prospective husband and wife, where is God in the equation of your life? Students, where did you keep God? This is Chem 3 1 something, sociology something something. This and that, and Jesus Christ is somewhere roaming around. Needed like a herbalist when the going is tough, and then you return him back. Tonight, may an addiction for the things of God come upon your life. Please listen to me. This is the realm that when you walk in, no power in existence can prevail over you. Challenges are okay. Defeat is unusual for a Christian. Hallelujah. Many of us have come here tonight because we are hungry. Some of us have come because we are at the end of our road. Someone just invited you and said you have tried everywhere. You've gone to Zaria City. You've done everything. Why don't you just come to God? And you dragged yourself here and said, well, Lord, let's see what happens. I tell you, you are in for a shock tonight. God will beat you above and beyond your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless you guys. Rise up on your feet, everybody. We are going to pray. Just two prayer points. And then we'll worship. Lift your hands and lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Take everything, oh God. Come on, pray now, everybody. Take everything. Take everything. My life belongs to you. Take the talent, oh God. Take the talent. Take the gift. Take everything. Pray from the depths of your heart and say, Lord, in any way, in any way, I have allowed other things to take your place in my life. Tonight I repent. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. I repent, oh God. Pray from the depths of your heart. Many of us have never given our hearts to the Lord. You've gone to church. You have a Christian name. But you've never given your heart to the Lord. 
It's not enough to see power. It's not enough to see miracles. Hallelujah. I'm going to make a very serious altar call right now. I don't want you to sit down thinking about it because I know there are people. There are people here tonight, inside and outside. Probably you followed someone and you came. Probably you are struggling with a sickness or a terminal disease. The doctor has given you the letter and said you have a few months to live. It all starts with Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. There are two sets of people I'm going to call. And they will all come at once. Those who have never made a decision. Don't deceive yourself tonight. I don't care whether you are a pastor, whether you are a pope. You've never given your heart to Jesus. To say, Lord, I, I surrender my life truly. And then there's the second category. Those who are saying, Lord, I'm tired of lying to myself. I know that this thing I'm doing is not Christianity. I need a fresh start. People have told me it's all right. I want to make my way right. Yes, you have come out once. You even prayed for. You even fell down under the anointing. But you are saying, Lord, I'm rededicating my life tonight. Those two categories of people, as I, as I count one to ten, I'd like you to run like you're running away from fire. Right now, inside and outside. One. Two. Run like you are running for escape. Run like like there is fire burning and it's a matter of urgency forget about your friends forget about who is looking at you or who is not looking at you this is the key to a glorious destiny keep coming keep coming Keep coming. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have done. I don't care who is castigating you. Jesus is ready to give you a new beginning tonight. Everything I give to you withholding nothing. Don't sit back there. When the Holy Ghost is asking you to come out, God is still telling me that he's talking to people. God is still speaking to people. Many people inside. Many people outside. Forget about your friend. This is a destiny decision. I surrender all. of being in front here begin to open up your heart to the lord from the depths of your heart cry out your heart say lord enough is enough with holding nothing come on sing it one more time i surrender Everything I give to you With holding nothing With holding nothing Will you give your heart away? That's what God is asking you to Those of you in front Will you give your life away? So he can use you to give your life away. Will you give your life away so you can use you? Lord, I give myself away. Pray. Don't let your tears stop you. You may cry, but pray. So you, one more time, everyone. 
some of you crying I see some of you under heavy demonic oppressions but let me tell you this is the best decision you have made tonight it's never too late to start I don't care what you have done listen 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 to me I want you to know those of you here it is never too late with the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He won the victory. He gave you the victory on the cross. Jesus said it is finished. There are many things happening in your life. And the solution is not to go and try to solve it some other way. You must make up your mind and say from today. Hallelujah. You must be determined from your heart. That's how it starts. Hallelujah, you have won the victory. Come and worship with me. Hallelujah, you've won it all for me. You have won it all for me. Just that part, one more time. Hallelujah. 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 You have won the victory. your hands those of you in front I'm about to lead you to a very serious prayer you're not reciting a poem we are about to depopulate the kingdom of hell right now never forget this day for as long as you live some of you are rededicating your lives some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time I don't care what category Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. I surrender my life to you. I repent of my old ways. I accept the free gift of eternal life. I receive it in my spirit. And I declare that Jesus is Lord of my life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Satan, stay away from my life. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Savior. I've made my choice. Jesus is my Lord. Father, preserve these ones in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let it be a sincere decision from the depths of your heart. And I break the power of sin over your life. The weight that doth easily beset you, I crush it right now in the name of Jesus. I release you the righteousness of God is at work in your life. And for those of you who have come sick, I'd like you to relax and watch the mighty one step into your life. Hallelujah. Now, in one minute, you will come back. We're about to start the healing session right now. So please, just walk this way. Follow the ushers. They'll just have your details and you come back quickly and join us in the service. Celebrate them, everybody. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Young and old alike.
lift your hands everybody and say visit me visit me visit me pray in one minute everyone lift your hands and say lord the time has come i'm tired of this sickness the time has come i need a prophetic word that will take me to the next level of my life please pray pray and say lord visit me visit me please ushers be fast with them be fast with them so that they can return back everyone begin to pray in the holy ghost just begin to pray in one minute Rakata prata kata balada baska prata shikata randa kata badiyaba. Hallelujah. 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 There is nothing we can do without you, Jesus reveal yourself in a mighty way let the sick be healed oh God so many people are here trusting God for all kinds of miracles breakthroughs marriages jobs healings and deliverances Lord we thank you for that which you will be doing be glorified be glorified be glorified in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah sorry about the congestion um, protocol and ushers please walk together to make everything fast hallelujah before we start the healing session I just want to do something very quickly it's Mike's birthday come here Mike hallelujah I told him I was going to give him a surprise hallelujah celebrate him a lovely music director. Hallelujah. Mike, we love you. God bless you. Stretch your hands and prophesy. Ask the Lord to make him better than he is. Very faithful worker. Pray and bless him. We speak over your destiny in the name of Jesus. You will never be small. We speak over your life you will do mighty things because of you the worship team will step into a greater dimension hallelujah I hear in my spirit greatness 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 the Lord is bringing you into prophetic seasons of greatness this new season is a greatness is a is a level of greatness and prosperity you will enter a level of financial prosperity that will surprise you and will surprise all around you the lord is determined to do it bless his hands oh god may this be so in his life in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah thank you Lord Jesus Christ please lift your hands the power of God is strong in this place Lord we give you praise visit us oh God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ visit us by the power of the Holy Ghost let your healing virtue let your grace, let everything that you have, let the dense weight of your person come upon us in mighty ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, my go and help me. Just play the keyboard for me. And then let's trust God for a great time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is starting tonight's meeting in a very strange way instrumentalist let's work together now hallelujah please hurry up as soon as you get down your name 
just return there will be a very mighty impartation in this place hallelujah not deliverance impartation God is going to be moving in a very strong way and is going to be bringing strong impartation upon people it's going to be a wildfire of the spirit hallelujah strings please exalted high above the worship of the people of the year I see the Lord I see He's the lamb upon the throne, lamb upon the throne who reigns forever. Please, everyone, lift your hands inside and outside. Lift it as high as you can lift it. Lift your hands. Listen, listen please. The Spirit of God is in this place. Hallelujah. And the angels of the Lord, please don't stop playing, are in this place. This is a very, very prophetic moment. Now the Lord is going to be moving from inside and outside. And he's going to be separating certain people. This is not deliverance, although that can happen. This is a heavy impartation. The weight of God is about to mantle people in very strong ways. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, all those who belong to this category, in the name that is above all names, lift your hands. My God. Lord, at the count of three, let there be a wild move of the Spirit. One, two, three. Shekete, rekete teketa, no comprende skete, lekete rebos. Outside, bring them out, bring them out. Touch an impartation of fire. Let there be a separation. Retekete separate them oh God separate them oh God outside the power of God is falling now outside is hitting men right now like a tornado outside outside there are angels outside the power of God is falling like a wildfire a separation a separation take it take it take it take it take it it's a separation a wild fire let it engulf them oh god let it burn let the coal from the throne let the coal from the throne let it come upon visitors. Lord, those who are visiting in Koinonia, may they take the fire now. May the visitors take the fire now. There are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow at the back. The overflow at the back outside. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling.
There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Yeah. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every There's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Shake it, break it, your hands God is not done yet I told you there will be a visitation listen at the count of three many people will enter visionary experiences right now vision vision one two three take it take it vision vision take it take it vision I open up prophetic realms take it take it Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it. Take it. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now. Now. This row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. To break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it. Take it now. Goodness. The power of God is strong upon me. A protoscope rekete, rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete da. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Rete tete le ba 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 ba. Eke re 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 mau. Eke te protoscope ba ba ba. They will break every chain. They will break every chain. Sit at the 
there is a road that the power of God is moving outside there is a road outside it will start with a lady there is a lady right now under the power of God and it will follow to that road Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. someone Sarah Sarah just leave them don't worry don't don't scatter what God is doing. hallelujah God is bringing deliverance to your family hold my hands it ends now 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 be delivered I cast that devil as that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah we will have a visitation tonight lift your hands I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay every spirit wife every spirit husband many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you some of you are already out you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever are you ready now one two three be free now now I call spirits I call spirits marital delay I call spirits every marital delay I cause you I open doors of marriages now Doors of marriage be open. Every spell, every enchantment, every act of divination. Right now, I set you on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire, on fire now. I challenge altars. I challenge thrones. I challenge spells. We break every chain. We break every chain. 
we break every chain we break every chain break every chain break every chain let her go now go let her go now go be free lay your hands on your stomach God is setting you free The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. He's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she does. This is demonic oppression. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Is she okay? She's not okay. Look at me. Hold my hands. Satan. Let her go now. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing this? Look at the spirit tormenting her. Let her go. Let your legs be stretched now. Look at what is happening to the legs. Is the camera watching? Watch this. This is the power of God by itself. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. 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 Watch this. Look at her deliverance. Out. Out of her now. Out. 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 I return her back to sanity. Every madness out of her now. Excuse me. Every madness out. Out. Never returns. I see an altar on fire. This is what I'm seeing. This is what is responsible. Let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you jesus liver stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me stand up walk 
Come, come. Come on, can you sing? I hear the chains falling. I hear the chains. I hear the chains falling. Every madness of the devil has to find its way. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Look at look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady. Huh? Look at, are you seeing for meeting? Look at the things that the devil has done. Bastardize this lady's life. Look at me. What's your name? Lesson. What's your name? Lesson. What's your name? Lesson. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say I am fine. She literally ate her mouth and injured it like that. Look at, you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say I am fine. Say, I'm fine. It never returns to you again. Stretch your hands and say, it's over. This deliverance is over. If there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family when they get to a point something hits them down and that's the end of it. No matter what happens this is what the Lord is showing you. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands because this is I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King let this thing end right now because this thing is not just with you alone it's with your family members. My God let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? A lecturer. Lecture. He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic so everybody that seems to reveal something people just think that ah this person has done this and that are you getting my point now i must not see god must not show me what is happening to our husband for him to be delivered i hope you know that the word of god is potent enough to deliver the person you understand but god does these things as a sign and a wonder hallelujah 
the family is about to be delivered right now in the name of the Lord Jesus a family is about to be delivered right now delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chains falling. Two of you, come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss. You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you. Suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. It's true. There's everybody. It's not like every. This is death. This is delay marriage. Wait now. Calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. Just look at me. Try to look at me. Do your best. Do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction. It's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free. A habit is leaving you and a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Something's moving, something's changing. See it feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving, something's changing. your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up it's time for God to step into your family run and come see I don't need to call you just connect by faith God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase. Mighty increase. Coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken.
this is a cause of hardship in the name of Jesus let her go I release her and her family out out that cause of hardship out the Lord is bringing increase for your father I'm seeing traditional things these are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine the Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family Lord confirm your word I've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of Jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby hold my hands I take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus this garment of shame go be set free be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah who is Eunice 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 the Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number 221 221 that's the last digit of your phone number 221 who is that you are the one do I know you okay Gabriel okay 221 please if that is yours just come out 221 the last digits 221 please verify don't come and tell us lies here 221 that's what I'm seeing it's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221 if that is yours please come on Gabriel can I pray for you stand up please sir what do you do I'm an artist is that the only thing you do final department okay I want to pray for you because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? He's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind 
to stop playing games from tonight I'm a genuine child of God women out of his life every spirit of immorality lost and every related thing I cause you be free my God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus name why are you here why are they here what next eh? all of you are Eunice is she married There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy, it's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you, nobody cares, nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. Hmm? But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. the Lord is not even talking about you he's talking about your elder ones I've seen them it's because it's the same thing that is happening there I've taught you people bring out Lord, let it be over now. Lay your hands on my hands. Just lay your hands on my hands. It ends. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, I appoint unto you a season of liberty. In the name of the Lord Jesus, to appoint Point unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes. What is happening to you is happening to her at the same time. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes. It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar, 
against your life catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now bring them out bring them out deliverance every altar the children that have been buried I command the earth share in the word of the Lord I come with an apostolic territorial mantle let there be deliverance massive deliverance now now I'm seeing snakes I'm seeing snakes all kinds of snakes all kinds of snakes this is what I'm seeing they catch fire now they catch fire now every serpent every devil I speak to shrines I speak to altars I speak to covens by the anointing of the spirit for the spirit of the Lord tonight is upon me I challenge you I command an exodus an exodus an exodus you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won Everyone who is sick, lay your hands there right now. For time's sake, we may not have everyone come out, but lay your hands. Something miraculous will happen in this place right now. Wherever you are, lay your hands. Some you're laying your hands, but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands, just lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. The moment I pray for you, the power of God is already healing people right now. Check yourself. The moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you, maybe not everybody, just run out and come and stand here. There will be an explosion of miracles. You must celebrate what God is doing. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established? Hallelujah. Lay your hands now. And while Jesus was teaching, the power of God was present to heal. The Bible says, and when the even was come. They brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed. Please take it serious. This is a miracle service. We don't fake it in this place. 
a miracle is about to happen as i begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of jesus the son of the living god and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and lord i pray right now as i begin to declare i want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed god is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now i give you the praise i give you the praise i give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit i cost that spirit by the prophetic word this lady is going to start coughing things out she's going to start coughing things out right now she will start coughing things out Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem i command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of jesus There are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach i cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil i don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from november last year you don't need to come out from november last year You've only seen your period twice in the name of the lord jesus i restore order to your body now i restore order the power of god is moving to this effect i restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed i give you the praise lord a toothache 
tooth problem serious tooth problem the lord is healing it right now right now right now right now lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now i really want to conserve time i'm just thinking since pastor jakes is here we can lay hands faster on the sick do i need to call the sick to come out is that a good idea answer now let's work together because i know there are people you are still not satisfied okay please and please if you've been healed just stay back especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time and then a few others if you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of god please come out and line up thank you jesus falling down I'm not afraid I'm not afraid Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I curse that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, stand up. Come, come, come. Help him, help him. This is stroke. This is stroke. In the name of Jesus, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. Sir, at the count of three, lift up both of your hands. One, two, three. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. That stroke hand. I curse it in the name of Jesus. Daddy, try walking. Come. Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus, are you seeing the power of God now? Go ahead, Daddy. The devil is a liar. Say. Not only has God healed you, Daddy, God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten, everything the Palma worm has eaten. Because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October. They would have buried you first week of October. This is what the Lord is showing me. But in the name that is above all names, four years, four years now, for four years, this has been. The devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm seeing first week of October. 
they would have buried you but in the name that is above all names the bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the lord but the earth has he given so all earth i forbid you from taking this man's body in the name of jesus he will live long he will live strong and for every one of you praying for him may your family members live long in the name of the lord jesus daddy we are going to walk one more time look at look at he's so excited to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil to the shame of the devil come and walk again daddy walk hallelujah hallelujah please take him to his seat the lord perfects him in the name of jesus worship him help us let's save him You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. will set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. 
I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. Touching me all the time. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. The, I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. Your husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. Madam, if there is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now. Together with the leg issue, your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the spirit and that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever baby hold my hands Hallelujah. look at this innocent girl look at this girl where's the camera when you look at this girl you see a walking corpse do you understand I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am dead. I am. Father, change this girl's story i bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of jesus christ out now out now out now in the name of jesus I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death I command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death I command your exodus now in the name of Jesus. Let's save time. Thank you, Jesus. Free. She's in the hospital. Set her free. In the name of Jesus.
I'll be free. Free. I am that I am. <laughs> oh, is there anything? saying she must die who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it he said no witchcraft no enchantment against Jacob shall stand see 
don't let all this nonsense voice is when you don't know who you are i think we are going to sing that song chosen generation we need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused wash it too. are you ready now give us that song sing anything even if you don't know the fashion just sing the one you know are you ready now time you will sleep here oh. yes, lord. yes lord you are <laughs> mommy be healed every planting that is not of god we uproot it now in the name of the lord jesus be free every growth in your body dissolves and passes out of this body in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus see Baba Ladaba. do you have your prayer request please start submitting it or shall start getting a prayer request prayer requests are very important they are not a formality if you've not written it now is the time send a text to your loved one and say send it fast there is a God that answers prayers Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to say. Yes, he is mighty to say. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ.
Alleluia. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children. All the little children from age 1 to 10. Just 1 to 10. If you are more than 10, keep them. 1 to 10. Please bring them out. 1 to 10. Mothers, if you are tired, give somebody to hold the child and come with it. Please, just hurry up. Let's save time while we collect it. Please, if you are not interested, you can sit back. Please, bring all the children. We must lay hands. Ah, that's a baby. Teach me how to hold her before I strangle the neck of this baby. <laughs> Come and hold the mic for me. Let me do serious business here. The baby has small nose like you. Hold on, baby. We prayed for your arrival. Every barren woman in this place, stand up. Everybody, stand up. Ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact. I'm very serious now. Every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb. God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray, I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people. They will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? Now is the time to believe God and stretch your hands and say, Lord, as you did it to them. I didn't say, come out, oh. Don't worry, immediately I finish. All those who are trusting God for marriage this year, if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed, immediately after this, march out and stand. Don't be ashamed of anybody. Don't let anybody look. I'm serious. Hold on. If you know you have a lot to do in your destiny you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here please we, we are not playing jamboree here i know there are men of god that do we are acting based on instruction make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the lord praise god all of you stretch your hands it's amazing let me challenge men I don't see any father standing here and I if I remember very well I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man 
fathers, men. Every gentleman say, say myself behave. Say it myself behave. When it comes to responsibility, many men leave the women. But if the baby takes first, you are the one who wants to go to the school. Ladies, say I refuse. Stretch your hands. Let's pray for them. Every blessing you know you would give your child, release it to them. Pastor Jakes, please, let's lay hands on them. Father, we lay hands on these children. Every spell, name of the Lord Jesus, everything that makes your brain dull, we command that you are not dull. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring her, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it god is a miracle walker ready to marry this year are you joking eh? you are standing in for somebody okay. hallelujah listen listen we are young people but it doesn't mean we are in discipline are you getting my point now now look up i want to say something very important some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages hallelujah Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming, we break it from the realm of the spirit now. May that married man never call you again. I know you have been getting money from him, but the relationship is hereby declared non and for it. you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity hallelujah there are people standing here that there are powers and thrones please lift your hands and horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage you are a very pretty lady but nobody can look at you the moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hardworking and disciplined person. But the moment any lady comes to you, today she says she's, she's serious. After one week, there are some of you people come and they die. Some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away. But in the name that is above all names. Listen. This is an apostolic ministry. We are not ashamed. The Bible says I am not ashamed of the gospel. Every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom. We will preach it and we will set people free. Lift your hands. You will be very surprised. I said it at the beginning of the year. 
that God told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my Bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female did he say male and male that means ladies there is a male counterpart for you you believe that I'm going to pray for the man not a man are you getting me not one man meandering around and you say let me manage time is going no you can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave you cannot manage marriage lift your hands let's first destroy these altars of Baal. see that Ababa. get ready because the power of god is about to shatter spells into pieces father everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the lord jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit sitting on your marital destiny i set it on fire now hallelujah now i prophesy to you in the name of the lord jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of jesus wherever your husband is if he's walking in this earth right now just like boas located root i call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of god is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of jesus i connect you in the realm of the spirit i break every soul tie i break every soul tie i break every covenant stopping you from marriage the bible says ye have not because ye ask not you have not because you ask not he said ask and you will receive that your joy may be complete ask and you will receive he didn't say give us any day give us this day our daily bread listen when you come to god it is not only important that you are aware of who he is but you must come to god stating specifically the way and the manner that you desire or the area that you trust him to step in and come through for you for every time jesus would meet with a blind man a lame man he would ask them what do you want that you are lame does not mean you want to stand you must be able to verbalize your requests you must be able to communicate listen i know that many of you have written your prayer request but i want to give you the next two or three minutes alone with god open your mouth and state the things that you desire by faith to happen to you tonight lift your voice and pray someone is talking to the lord communicate your expectation when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream our mouths were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord had done great things for
for us. It says the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad. Then it says turn again our captivity like the streams of the south. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with faith in your heart. Someone is praying, Lord, my ministry is about to catch fire. There is a dimension of grace that must land upon my life. There is an operation of the spirit that must rest upon me. Is someone praying? I will never be the same. My life is changed. I will never be the same. My life, I will never be the same. I've touched your grave. I will never, I will never be the same. My life. Please look up. It is not very difficult for a man's situation to change. God is not a magician. You will need to release your faith with understanding. You are before the God of all flesh, the doer, the worker of wonders. He's truly a miracle worker. Please believe in miracles. Believe in miracles. They are not a fabrication of human intelligence. No, no. God can work miracles. God does miracles. God delivers. God heals. God lifts. God transforms. God sets free. That's what his grace can do. Never be the same. I've touched your grace. My life must change. I will never stay the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never preach the same. I've touched your grace. My life is changed. I will never see the same. My life is changed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere of God's glory, listen. Don't wait until you are called by prophecy. Don't wait until you are prophesied upon. Let your heart be open to receive. Let your heart be opened to rise in the spirit. I want to pray now. Please listen. Listen to me. The power of God is very strong here. Let's work together now, guys. 
deliverance when kept within the boundaries of the word of God is powerful listen because for many of us let me tell you this I submit to you listen please don't inconvenience the guests the space is alright just just let them be please listen it's an interesting thing that many believers are unwilling to accept that behind many tragedies are spirits please understand this behind many operations listen when Jesus was going to calm the storm every storm is made of two things wind and water you can see the water but you cannot see the wind every storm is made of wind and water there is no storm that is made of water alone Jesus rebuked the water he rebuked the wind and the water was still there is no problem that is as a physical problem there are spirits back of it whether it is financial marital spiritual one of the biggest deceptions of darkness is to believe that your issue is just sociological or just marital no sir no sir there are spirits more spirits than men on the earth in one man there was a legion in one man that's to tell you how much scarce bodies are on earth for these spirits six thousand spirits in one man please listen to what i tell you your financial situation can be masquerading itself and dribbling you all around and it, yes there are principles here and there but hear me you are not free until the spirit that sponsor the operation is dealt with are we together there are you can only judge situations by what has affected you the one that has not affected you yet is there but just because it has not happened yet you may not know so the secret is to address the spirits behind it and not wait for them to create different scenarios that show you they are there are we together when we pray and minister to people listen we're, we're a very we're a very balanced bible-based ministry and let me tell you this by the spirit of god you do not help men when you leave the spirit that is back of their situations to go back with them now i know that here and there people abuse these things and do all kinds of nonsense that are not within the jurisdiction of scripture this is not what we are talking about we are talking of liberty that is provable that you can walk out before the service is done you are seeing the evidence that this is what has masqueraded itself you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace your life must change you will never be the same you've touched his grace You can be a man of God here greatly ministry you are anointed but things may not be working and you may just think the issue is just ministry ethics preaching well that is wonderful but let me tell you he said I desire once and again to come to you but Satan hindered us it is not only angels that are on assignment there are spirits on assignment there are demons on assignment there are powers that are on assignment Zechariah chapter 1 verse 18 what seest thou four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem and against Israel that these horns have made it that no man doth lift his head he said but I have sent four carpenters it's a reality behind many families are spirits behind many medical reports are spirits behind many repeated patterns of frustration are spirits oh, oh, oh.
shared the testimony of a gentleman many years ago he was in ministry and um, I had the opportunity to counsel him and while I was talking with him as he entered my room I saw a spirit just entering with him and I looked at this dear gentleman lovely adorable wonderful person and I was politely going to hint him to say sir the Lord is already showing me what is behind your problem. And ah, the gentleman just shot me down and said, no, no, no. Don't talk to me about this and that. I said, that's all right. No problem. I respect you. I do this. Let me just pray with you. That's all I requested from him. The last thing he could remember was me beginning to pray. And then when he recovered from himself, like almost an hour later on, he got up. And for the next three days, this gentleman kept reaching me. And said, Apostle, you have rattled my theology. What is this? Doors began to open like a charm in that gentleman's life. Listen, I hope you know that there was a relationship between the doors that were closed and the chains in the hand of Paul and Silas. It's very strange. They were bound hand and feet. The Bible says at midnight. They lifted up their voices. They prayed and they sang. Suddenly, there was an earthquake because God himself came. And then, listen, the Bible says the moment there was that earthquake, the chains by themselves fell. Immediately, the chains fell. He said, all doors open. Not some. All doors. There was no use of key. The key was that chain. As the chain fell, the doors opened. Please, I'd like you to pray in one minute. Father, if there is any spirit entity that is back of my situation, it must live by the spirit and the grace of God. Lift your voice and pray. by the power of the Holy Ghost tonight in the name of Jesus every spirit that is not of the Christ that is back of the situation around my life my family, my business my ministry pray Hallelujah. You see, the power of God is already touching people. Listen, I'm going to take a few minutes tonight to really address this issue of spirits because they are real. They are very, very real. Very real. Hallelujah. I have met so many spirits in my life, I've had so many encounters. That's not the basis of believing they are there. Scripture already tells us they are there. But let me tell you, they are there. And they are not there doing nothing. They are there causing pain. They are there manipulating families. They are there projecting things that are not of the Christ. But the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's pray. I want to begin to pray now. Please listen. Whether or not you are an usher, I'd like you to help those under the anointing. We are going to do a lot of praying this night while I'm ministering. Um, please participate in the prayer. Prayer is very powerful when done with understanding. Are we together? Now I want to pray for you and then begin to minister to people. Because there are real spirits behind people's situations. Hallelujah. First, I want you to bring out now 
I'm not going to say anything. God is giving me an instruction. The power of God, I'm already seeing something like a blue smoke rising out of people. And these are spirits. And when that happens, the power of God will come upon them. I want you, whether outside or inside, just begin to bring them out here. We're going to pray and call on that name now. But the Lord is revealing to me. You will be very surprised. Some of you are standing for yourself, standing for your family. Please bring them out. This is the instruction God is giving. Except God is not God. There is no spirit that is back of any one situation that will remain after tonight. Please quickly just bring them out. I'm seeing the power of God. I don't know why God is giving me this instruction. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. I will contend with them that contend with you. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Even the lawful captives shall be delivered. Please bring them out. Let's just walk with what the Holy Ghost is doing. The strangers that must come out of their hiding place and let you be and let your family be. There's fire burning in this place. One more minute and then we'll pray. God is still locating people inside and outside. It's time for your liberty and your liberty in full, in full by the Spirit. Establishing the victory of the Christ over every life, every destiny. All right, we're ready to pray. Please lift your hands. Let me pray now. I'm seeing fire. That fire is coming on people as I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As you shout that name, Jesus, I declare by the blood of the eternal covenant that every legal access upon which the devil is laying claim over lives, over bodies, over finances, over destinies, I invoke help that woman by the blood of the eternal covenant. It must go now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. One, two, three. by the power of the Holy Ghost bring them out in the name of Jesus I command the powers that be by the blood of the eternal covenant that everything that binds men to spirits binds men to realities in the spirit I come against it by the God of Jeshurun please bring them out we release a sound in the realm of the spirit. We declare sounds of victory. We are still praying, my God. Chains. I'm seeing chains in the spirit. One more time, you are going to shout that name. Lord, if there is anyone here under any kind of chain, the Bible says to release them that are bound. As you shout that name, no matter how long that chain has stayed, it's time for you to be released. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father, for the honor of your word. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. I break those chains now over families, over 
our businesses. I break those chains now. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me the vision of a graveyard. I'm seeing the vision of a graveyard. And the Lord wants me to rebuke the spirit of the grave. The spirit of Hades. I stand by the God of heaven. And I declare right now. Anyone covenanted to the power of the grave. The covenant with death. The covenant with the grave. By fire. May that fire fall on you now. The covenant with the grave. The covenant with death. I speak by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Be free now. Be liberated now. Be free now. Haladuja li haska baruda shalabanda sibaha. Rekatiza nehe shalakotia. Hallelujah. Now listen. We are going to pray for the sick. But I'm sensing a unique grace for the healing of growths and lungs. Growths and lungs. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like a woman on a surgical table. This is what I'm seeing. I'm speaking right now. Every spirit behind the infirmity. My God, I'm seeing fire fall on people. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every lump, every growth, fibroids, malignant growth, cancerous tissues. By the spirit of the living God. Let the life and the power of God touch you now. Let the life, help them please. Let the life and the power of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those crows to leave those bodies now. I command them to dissolve now. Help that lady, please. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Growths. I'm still seeing growths coming out of people's bodies. Swellings of all kinds. This is not limited to women alone. Including men. Be free now in the name of Jesus. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in you. And we will never settle for less. We know, we know there's more that's Everyone here in front in this overflow and all the overflows I declare that the spirits that lay claim upon any aspect of your life I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I command them to leave now pack your load and go at the count of three one two three go 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 out of their destinies now out of their lives forever out of their lives forever out of their homes forever forever hallelujah please pay attention we are still praying now the Lord is showing me something that I don't see very often I'm seeing an old gate and I'm seeing chains on it with a padlock this is a sign of stagnation. You are here and mysteriously, you have been in the same position. You try to move, you try to push. I'm about to smash that gate to pieces. Not to open it, to stamp it down. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars.
powers of iron in thunder. Now help them please. Listen, I want you to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart. I decree and declare every destiny here that has been tied down by men, by systems, by spirits, so that you cannot move. By this shout of Tehillah tonight, I declare every gate crushed and comes down now. Are you ready? At the count of three. One, two, three. I prophesy to you, move forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Stagnation comes to an end. Ritro apakoto shala. Reketeketekete. Parus kaba. Embreketo sheleto sabaka. Stagnation comes to an end. Retrogression comes to an end. Hallelujah. Who is Bukola? I'm hearing the name Bukola. Bukola. Our time is gone. There is still a lot to do. Who is Bukola? Don't worry, don't force and rush those who are standing in front. Your Bukola. Where are you coming from? Okay. Let me pray for you, my dear. Stand up and I'll pray for you. You are also Bukola. My dear, hold my hands. Listen, my dear. In the name of Jesus. This chain that I'm seeing be loose now in the name of Jesus. I lose you from that chain, it is broken now and broken forever. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is showing me someone you walk in first bank. You walk in first bank. Who is that person? You need a serious miracle now. You walk in first bank. First bank. Let's hurry up, please. You walk. Who is that first bank? All of you are Bukola. Ma, let me speak to you. The grace for wealth, stand up. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing currencies falling on you. And the Lord is telling me that there is a strange grace for wealth. This, this, is, this should be Kingsley's wife. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the spirit of the Lord, let that word come to pass now. I release you by the power of prophecy into that dimension. Prepared blessings by the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'll pray for everyone, but the power of God is going to come on one of you now. Very mighty anointing is coming on one of you, and God is setting that person's family free. One of these Bukolas, right? So the power of God is coming on you, one of you. It, this is not something small. It's a, a mighty outpouring of the power of God. When that happens, um, I will just identify that one. Who works in First Bank? First Bank? You are a staff? Huh? No. You are not a staff of First Bank. You are on contract. Is that true? You are on contract. I will still pray. This person I am seeing is a bona fide staff of the bank. I want to pray for you. Because I am seeing something that can cost you your job. Father, show this my dear brother mercy by the grace of God. Look at me sir. I am seeing a whirlwind on your head. I need to pray against confusion and pray against stagnation. I declare in the name of Jesus, you are set free now and you are free forever. In the name of Jesus. Please make sure you are observing the ladies. The power of God is going to come on one. That's the instruction God is giving me. It's very mighty anointing. When it comes on that one, I want to pray for them. Your father is a general in the army. Who is that? Your dad is a general in the army. I need to pray. We need to rebuke conspiracies. The Lord is showing me your father is a general in the army. Real army, military. Please, if you are that person, I want you to come. If you are that person, I want you to come. I want to pray for you. This is conspiracy. 
in the name of Jesus over her family let there be a mighty deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for all of you for the various reasons why you have come out in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord himself give you testimonies very strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you the Lord is showing me a vision I'm seeing a family of five ladies there's no marriage one two three four five five ladies nobody has settled down where are you please come where are you coming from my dear from Joss I want to pray you are five of you all alive five ladies no one has settled down what do you do contract staff with Sterling Bank wait Sterling Bank, Sterling Bank. Yes. you will leave the bank soon Amen. listen to me there is another job that is coming for you Amen. when that job comes don't fight it is the will of God you hear what I'm saying I'm not saying you should go and retire now but I'm telling you that another job is coming. Let's pray. It's not normal. We need to break this. I'm seeing three ladies in my vision. I don't know why there's only one person here. These five, five families. Please make sure you don't tell lies. Don't just come and stand here. If it's not, I will pray for everybody. Five families. None. Not one person has settled down. Ladies now. Don't cry, my dear. Jesus is in this place. Release the family now. Release the family now. I'm looking at this lady and I'm seeing coals of fire and I'm seeing a horn on it. Release the family now. There is someone here. This is a very mysterious thing that happens to you. In a very strange way this happens especially when you pray for extended periods your whole body starts itching you in a funny way you know how someone under the influence of a, what they call that drug chloroquine that's what happens to you like physically you begin to scratch your body I must pray for you why is she here please you are the one come madam you too where are you coming from ma you are coming from Abuja come we we'll attend to the photos you are holding here, eh? but for now, we need to pray for you. This is, this is not just evil, very evil. I have to pray for you. You too, my brother. Where are you coming from? Okay. You see, my dear people, I'm, no, I'm not saying if your body is itch, listen to the, the, the issue. I just saw fire this row right down just like a sword of fire just passed I don't know who that is for but in the name of Jesus let it bring emancipation right now right now in the name of Jesus look at me my dear you believe in Jesus I bring you life from this kingdom that we represent be free now from this demonic satanic oppression in the name of Jesus our dear auntie let me pray for you just keep her there can you hold my hands madam I want to pray for you right now in the name that is above all names help her be free right now I cause the workings of darkness over your body and over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ five families hold my hands look at me shout Jesus as loud as you can In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, let it be over. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray for you, my dear. I'm looking at you physically, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing an arrow inside your head. I need to pray. There is infirmity that has been projected in your body. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is that all right? Father, help this lady. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be free from this that does not name the name of Christ. I set you free from it now in the name of Jesus. Five ladies, I'll just lay my hands on you. Be free right now. Let the doors be opened. Be free right now. Kai, let her go. Out now in the name of Jesus. She's also here. 
Your dad is a general in the army. Where are you from? Gombe State. You are in Abuja, but you are from Gombe State. I'd like us to pray. Can I pray for you? I'm not a prophet of doom, eh? Don't be afraid. Look at me. Those who plan evil, in the name of Jesus, they will not live to execute their wickedness. You see, Ba, my brothers and my sisters, let me teach you something about life. The Bible says a man's enemy shall be the members of his own household. Father, preserve the life of this our general in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a family now, God is breaking the plague of death. The power of God is coming. I don't know whether they are inside or outside. The plague of death is being broken right now. There is a mighty anointing that is coming on that wise to set them free from the plague of death. Please come very quickly. I'll just touch you. I don't know why they are here, but we have to hurry up very quickly. Just a touch. Believe by faith. It is over. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sir, where are you coming from? I'm coming from Abuja. From Abuja? Yeah. What do you do, sir? I'm a minister. You are a minister of the gospel. I want to pray for you. Where, where, where are you coming from? Where do you come? Your state of origin? Akwaibo. Do you plan to go this Christmas? I'm not healthy. But I'm not Huh? I'm, I, I went for operation. It's not up to Listen, that's why I want to talk to you. I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing you were supposed to have died. It's because of the intercession of men. That you are alive but then I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom we anything god shows we cancel you get the point now i'm seeing this man going in a bus and i'm seeing a truck i will not mention i'm not being antagonistic but the truck did not just shift your car it climbed it and everybody gone like that you see when god shows a thing it is because of the strength he has put in his church the power to change it completely are we together? I want to pray for you. You are very sick. And even the surgery has not solved the problem. Because what I'm seeing is still there. Please hold my hand, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son, let this man not be given to the sword. Let him not be given to the grave. In the name of Jesus, I knock on the door of life and I speak to you, sir, by the power of the Holy Ghost be set free i fortify you by the power of god's word and i declare death will be far from your dwelling i speak that your going out is blessed and safe even your coming in is blessed and it is safe in the name of jesus may the lord show you mercy continually in jesus name i pray family of five i need to pray hold my hands Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh yeah. Oh yeah yeah say In the name of Jesus, I lose you and your siblings. Everything that is an orchestration of darkness, I speak by the Spirit of the Living God. You are loosed now. In the name of Jesus, I declare liberty. I restore dignity and honor. What is happening to you? I'm seeing an angel of the Lord going down here. There's somebody, the same thing is happening to someone there. The same thing God is doing here, God is doing to a lady there. I declare be liberated right now in the name of Jesus. Please come, sir. Let me just touch you by faith. In Jesus' name, be set free. Come. In Jesus' name, be set free. 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 There is someone, I think you are in ministry, you are in overflow one. The power of God is going to come upon you in a mighty way now. Please carry the person and bring the person here. We have to hurry up. 
I'm seeing the power of God touch the person. Hallelujah. I'm about to release that grace for speed again. Please come. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, 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 ah. Shala super I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing blood dripping around the east. And the Lord is saying, those who are easterners, is, this, is a, this is a sign and a wonder. When God shows me a map, whenever I mention that location, anyone who is oppressed within that location, the power of God comes on them. Right now, I'm seeing the east. The east. I release that power now. The Lord is bringing liberation, eastern states. I'm seeing blood drip upon them. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I'm seeing an elderly woman with sharp pain around her lumbar vertebra. The power of God is touching that woman right now. Who is the person? Mommy, you're welcome. One to pray. Ah. Not everything that looks like sickness is sickness. There are many things that are projections of darkness. Are we together? Mommy, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Help her please. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, release our mother. In the name of Jesus. Mommy, I command that infirmity, that plague and that yoke of darkness. Be gone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me just pray for these two people now. This lady, where is she coming from? Okay. There is, it will surprise you how the grace for intercession will come on you. This lady, this fair lady, I'm talking to you. In the name of Jesus, I speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. May that grace mantle you and turn you into a sign and a wonder. The Lord will show you things in your dreams. He will show you things in visions. Please bring our mommy for me. Let me pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Um, just touch her back for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare right now. This is not sickness. This is the spirit of death. I command the spirit of death, hell and the grave. To leave our mother right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Complete emancipation. Complete emancipation. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands just here. I don't know why, but this is what he's saying. Just right here to the wall. I'm seeing... I'm seeing people's stomach, the abdominal region. I'm seeing things like chains. Just bring those under the anointing as I'm talking. I'm seeing things like chains. These are devils of infirmity. The Lord is asking me to just stretch my hand. Please just allow me to do my madness with God here and let the Lord set these people free. Please bring them out. We're hurrying up now in the name of Jesus. Karu salatu ziata. Kariza hasalambarita suba haseketa. Kradu saletu shala saba hasarata ziakata. Rakata barada balakata frata sadabakato shala branda skabariata. I place my hand on my stomach as a point of contact. Every planting that is not of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, be free from it now. Hallelujah. 
the power of God is coming on one of the ushering ladies one of these ladies with the jerseys I'm seeing an anointing I know you are ministering but this is a miracle God is bringing for you for your family one of the ushering ladies I don't know whether they are inside outside I'm seeing an anointing on one of the ushering ladies this is this is liberty that God is bringing right now Shalus Karita Hasubadia. In the name of Jesus, my dear, look at me. Shame and reproach is living your life now. Shame and reproach is living your life now. The garment of shame and reproach is living your life now. Why is this gentleman here? You are not the anointing outside? Come. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Come. You, li lifting your hands. Run. Come. Your time of change has come. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from those state and it's, it's all right. It's okay. Don't worry. That's why you are here. Do you know me? That's why I'm saying you just relax. You were in the crowd and God brought you here. Do you know why God brought you here? Because things are not working at all in your family. God needs to turn things around. If I don't pray for you, what I'm seeing is you are celebrating Christmas morning and blaming people being the reason why somebody died and another person died because I'm seeing the spirit of death hovering around your family. But the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Let me pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. What did you study? Do you have a job? I'm, I'm a copper in Ondo State. I work, I'm, I'm a copper. I'm serving an NGO mm. for HIV in Ondo State. I want to pray for you. The favor of God that will come upon you from this miracle service will surprise you. You believe that? In the name of Jesus, I stay the power of evil over your family. And in the name of Jesus, I release you to a realm and a dimension of strange favor. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. We're going to pray for the sick shortly, but I want to release this grace for speed. Please, I want you to believe there is a real grace for speed. If you don't have it, you don't have it, period. There is a grace. Kashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana, Kashina. Hurricane Sarakuna Ya na na Hurricane Sarakuna Let's pray. Listen. It's a mystery how God brought me into this understanding. When you understand how speed works, you will never feel bad for any delay in your life. It's a strange system that insists that you catch pace with destiny. It works mysteriously. It works by compressing time. 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 Dominion over time is what speed is about. I want to pray for someone now. Sirkin Sarakuna. Father, please, I know that when I begin to pray inside and outside, people will begin to run physically. Honestly, why God does it, I don't know. I think it's just a prophetic acting of what is happening in the realm of the spirit. But every time I pray this prayer, the hand of God comes upon people and you find out that sometimes they begin to run physically. And I'm going to pray that prayer now. There are people here, God wants to take 10 years and put in one year. God wants to take one year five years and put in one month is it not written in your bible that i will restore the years god does not only restore things he restores time whoever can restore time must be god himself are we together in the name of jesus i decree and declare right now 
everyone under the sound of my voice inside outside parushalata i declare at the count of three father let this grace for speed restoration the mystery that gains time may that grace fall upon people within this auditorium overflow one two three four online in the name of jesus receive that grace one two three take that grace now take that grace speed restoration i prophesy pursue overtake without fail recover pursue overtake without fail recover in career pursue in marriage pursue in ministry pursue i'm speaking by the spirit pursue overtake recover pursue help that woman please overtake recover financially pursue overtake recover in your influence pursue overtake recover in your academics i pray for students pursue overtake recover pursue overtake recover Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The person who will run out now under the anointing, don't stop the person, just hold the person. By the person's self, mysteriously by the Spirit, there is a prophetic word. And this is how God told me. It's a force that will come upon the person. Please help her. Na, na, na. It will happen by the spirit. They will come out by themselves. A strong anointing is not something you can resist. This is a sign and a wonder. How God does it, I don't know. Sarkin Sarakuna. There are three more people. That's why I'm standing. Three more people. It's a wind. It's a force of the spirit. The wonder walking power of Jesus. How the church has limited him, limited him, limited him. Please help them, make sure they don't injure themselves. Gashina, Kamuna, Sir King Aljana, Yanana. Kashina, Kamuna, Sarkin, Aljana, Yanana, Kashina, Kamuna. I speak to all these ones that have come out by the Spirit. I'm declaring right now the chains that hold your feet. I'm seeing their legs specifically, their legs with chains. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus, I release you to destiny. I release you to destiny. I release you to destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. No more delay, no more retrogression by the Spirit of the Living God. The 
the force of God's power birthing possibilities in the lives of people. The power of God is coming on this gentleman, this one wearing polo. Yes. My friend, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on you in a very mighty way. And I'm seeing a gate open before you. And night is at your back and day is in your front. I prophesy to you what I'm seeing. And to everyone who connects with this prophecy, I take night behind you and I command your morning to stand before you. I take night behind you and I command the sun to shine before you in the name of Jesus Christ everyone lift your voice after me in the name of Jesus please shout it say in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit I am breaking limits I am moving forward lift your voice and begin to prophesy breaking limits in the name of Jesus, I make progress. Is someone praying? I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking limits. Breaking limits. Hallelujah. We're about to pray for the sick now. Please listen. When we take our time to pray for the sick like this, the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming on someone just around the ministers. As I came here, I just spoke. I just saw fire, just resting. Strong anointing from the front to my back. Strong anointing. The Spirit of God is resting upon people, moving, shifting by the Spirit of the living God. How forcible. Pastor, there is a grace coming on you. The HICC pastor, a strong anointing, shifting you by the spirit. Step into a new dimension. Gashina, Gamuna, Sir King of Jana, Na Na Na. New dimensions. We want to pray for the sick now. Listen very carefully. I believe in miracles. There are people here who are standing, trusting God to touch various aspects of their lives, their bodies. Kai, there is still a strong anointing around the minister section here. I'm seeing impartations, real graces, impartations coming by the Spirit. Impartations. People are drinking of wines. Ima, lift your hands. I amplify the prophetic upon your life in the name of Jesus. I amplify the prophetic in the name of Jesus. Hold your hands, two of you. Please help them. Take that grace in the name of Jesus. Amplify the grace. You step into new dimensions in the spirit. The spirit and the power of the word. Your words from today will be like fire. Fire. Refine us fire. Sarukin Sarabuna Yana Na Yana Na Sarukin Sarabuna Dan, come. Hold my hands. Grace is given for you to rise. No more delay. I place a ladder before you and I shift you by the spirit to the amazement of many. May your life change, change like day and night.
Praise the Lord. Thank you for your patience. Please rise. Let's stretch our hands here. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Prophecy, no matter how accurate, is limited by time and the openness of the vessel. But that every time, this is not a ritual, it's a revelation to come before the God who can answer. Listen, there are things here written that are death sentences. There are things written here that will take only God to provide a miracle for. There are things written here that are age-long captivities. Some of them even predate our coming to the earth. But there is a name that is above every other name. The Bible says, Wherefore God hath so highly exalted him and given him an office, a name, a title. The Bible says that at the mention of that name, everything in the earth, in heaven, under the earth, will bow every knee and then every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I cannot begin to tell you the kind of tearsome testimonies that have come out of this. This is not a ritual. There is a covenant that sponsors the, uh, the answered prayer here. And one more time, and the last time really for this year, I want us to agree in the next two, three minutes. Wherever you are, just stretch your hands as a point of contact and begin to pray that the Egyptian that I see today, in the name of Jesus the Christ of God, I will see them no more forever. Is someone praying? Every evil report, orchestrations of darkness, if it had a beginning tonight is the end. Don't worry, for those of you at the overflow who are still being ministered to just focus as the ministers minister to you while we pray. Jesus, we decree and declare that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. <laughs> Father, we bring before you every situation here, marital situations, financial situations, spiritual situations, career situations. In the name of Jesus, we bring them under the covering of the blood every legal access upon which these requests continue to remain by the blood of the eternal covenant we nullify that access now in jesus name 
Father, by this prayer, we blot out handwritings and ordinances that speak against God's people. We declare them nullified forever. I stand as one sent by the Spirit of the Lord, and I declare, receive strange testimonies. Before this year runs out, in the name of Jesus, let every request tabled here be turned into testimonies. <laughs> testimonies are largely answered through men. When it leaves heaven, most times the testimonies we need we need them in their material form. There are few testimonies that we need them just in the spirit form. I'm praying every human agent that must partner with God, partner with the systems of God to see to it that this request is granted. We compel them by the spirit to do so now. In the name of Jesus. Every death sentence written here in the name of Jesus we cancel it now yes. hallelujah let it be done so shall it be we establish it in the name of Jesus now we want to round up by prophesying over our lives this for me you've heard me say this is the best part of the service because this is where everybody gets an opportunity for spiritual realities to be created in your life. Please, I want you to agree with me. Every proclamation that will come, receive it by faith, believe it, and shout a loud amen as proof that you believe it. Are we together? In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Delay comes to an end now. Everything representing shame and reproach in your life and that of your family. It comes to end this night in the name of Jesus. pray for your spiritual life the kind of encounter that you have not had from January till now strange encounters revelations of heaven receive that grace in the name of Jesus and if our God is for us then who could ever stop us and if our God is with us then And if our God is with us, every wall that stands before you and the next dimension, I decree and declare by the spirit of grace that was upon the nation of Israel standing before Jericho, I command every wall, go down flat. Financial walls go down flat. Career walls go down flat. In the name of Jesus. And the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Every man that must send for you to come out from where you are to where you need to go to. The gatekeepers of the dimensions that you seek to enter. I compel favor from them to you. I compel favor from them to you. In the name of Jesus. There are angels that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor 
is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more favored, more honorable. Many people do not know what honor is. The fortitude for preference. There is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd, places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you, reward you, recognize that which God has invested within you. Listen to me. There are many gifted people. The eye that can bless has not seen you. There are many men of God. The eyes that can discern and lift you is not there. Let me pray for you. There is a grace for honor. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, may the mantle that makes for honor, territorial honor, honor at a national level, in the name of Jesus, receive that grace now. Receive that grace now. You will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life. When the grace for honor and favor is upon you, you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers. Listen, it's a mystery that cannot be explained. You will be suspended until they appear. Then you come. Listen. Is a waste to fight battles without reward. David said, what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath? Sometimes it's a waste to do noble things in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward. I pray for you. May the Lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you. The Lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing. It is still a year of extraordinary fruitfulness. I stand by the God of heaven. Have the faith to believe. Don't sit down questioning, leave your mind and trust God. It is within his power to make great. He takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around. I'm praying for you. For some of you, before this year is over, step into a dimension of prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared parushalata. I release you into a dimension of prepared blessing. Listen, believers, I want you to believe this. Our time is gone, but I want you to believe this. Do not doubt what the power of God can do. Hallelujah. We're rounding up in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. The grace that will produce results of wonders in your life. May that grace rest upon you now. Prepared blessings that take you to realms. Ten years put in one month. I release that grace upon you. These graces are not some carnal show of wealth. No. They are time redemption systems. Understand what they are. They seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results. Receive that grace right now. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus.
I pray for every family represented here. The sound of mourning. The sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living God. Let it come to an end this night. Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. you do not know may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence In the name of Jesus, everyone here trusting God for a job, before this year runs out, may God give you a miracle job. Every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough, we call upon the God of the heavens. In the name of Jesus, let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace. Hear me. Whoever ignores you will pay for it. Hear me. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. Let me say it again. Any man that fights you goes down instantly. I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you i pray for every man and every woman of god here the errands and the horse that will hold your hands loyal men indeed may god give them to you here who the testimony over your life is Ichabod I declare by the spirit of God a restoration happens now <laughs> thou shall not be afraid of the snare of the fowler nor the noisome pestilence nor the destruction that wasted in noonday says a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side it says none shall hurt you but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked i pray for you as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler may you escape from every evil may you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. The remaining weeks of this year, I'm speaking to you. May they be weeks of strange wonders. And finally, let me speak over your prayer life over your word study life whatever has stolen your joy whatever has stolen your fire whatever has stolen your passion whatever has stolen your focus in the name of Jesus by fire let it be restored tonight may the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life may you be a wonder first to yourself and then may you be a wonder to everyone around you in the name of Jesus finally anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to see to it that you will not finish this year well to see to it that it will not be well with you and your family Gehazi came and met the woman and said it's all well it's all well with your household I pray for you because the Bible says to say to the righteous it shall be well therefore I speak over you it is well I declare over you all is well in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus for all of you who have traveled from far whether from another nation right down here from another city right down here you will go back with strange testimonies you will carry a fire and anointing that will be worth your coming here 
in the name of Jesus very quickly you are here under the sound of my voice please let's minimize movement and you are saying apostle I want you to give me an opportunity to give my life to Jesus Christ you are here and you are saying apostle I've seen the wonder working power of God I need Jesus as a matter of urgency in my life hear me the Bible says whosoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away praise the Lord whether you are here inside or outside there are people here who are saying apostle I need Jesus there are others who are saying apostle I need restoration of my relationship with Jesus it is never too late to reconnect with him now whether you are here let's minimize movement whether you are here inside or outside we cannot close this meeting this is the last miracle service for the year wherever you are whether you are rededicating your life or you are handing your life over to Jesus for the first time inside outside overflow one two three I want you to run and come and stand right in front of me here sustain the boldness to come don't be ashamed let's celebrate them as they come koinonia those coming from outside please clear the way for them above him there's no other jesus is the way jesus is the answer for the world today keep coming above him there's no other jesus is the way jesus is the answer for the world today above him there's no other jesus is the way jesus is the answer Bible says for God so loved you and me he proved his love by giving not taking giving his one and only begotten son now the firstborn of we the begotten that whosoever will believe in him should not perish is a law but have the way the life of God you have come many of you making this decision for the first time many of you rededicating your lives to Jesus listen it doesn't matter why you came I want you to know that there is a God who loves you desperately unashamedly and is ready to give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say this very passionately say this truthfully from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus Please, if you're joining us, quickly come, quickly come, find a space and pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. Say with me again, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe. Join them quickly. Say, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for my sin tonight I receive your life I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I declare that from tonight until forever I reign in life I am a child of God I belong to the family of God amen Keep your hands lifted while I pray for you. Father, thank you. You have brought these ones by your spirit. You are able to save to the uttermost, scripture says. Thank you for drawing these ones. I decree and declare by the spirit of God that every legal stand that the devil has against them is nullified tonight by the blood. I declare by the authority of scripture your sins be forgiven and I declare that the Lord grants you a new beginning from tonight I declare that you go forward ever and backward never the power to love and serve Jesus is released upon you 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Now, very quickly, there are a number of you. Um, there are two gentlemen waving their hands. You can follow this aisle or this one, whichever will take you to the same place. Please follow them as we celebrate them. There will be a group of people to just receive you and just share a few things with you. And you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.